Hey guys, it's me Arena and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Arcane episode 4. Um, I'm really really excited. Um, it's been a while since I've sat down to watch this show. If you've been watching my, if you watch my recent video then you know that this video is going to be coming out on a different day. But yeah, let's just, right, let's, let's just get into it because after what happened in episode 3, I'm just, I just need to know what is going on, what is happening. Let's, let's, let's just dive Right into it. <laughs> also, I'm wearing my Golden Girl shirt. It's one of my favorite t-shirts. Ah, I love it. I love the Golden Girls. It's one of my favorite shows. I'm guessing time has passed, right? Oh my God, is that a cat? You always give that speech. I agree with them. Kids have done wonders for our city. But it is not a cat. Oh wow, that is gorgeous. <laughs> okay, there are robots, people with horns. Interesting. Isn't she the one who was like, I'm gonna close the gates on this guy, right? She's the mom of the girl who was like helping him out or something. Oh, it's the girl, right? Could there be an attack on Progress Day since it's like a celebration? Especially it's 200 years, like maybe they're gonna attack or something? Yeah, definitely, 100%. You know it. Well, I th at least it's, that's what I think, I don't know. Oh, wait, they're attacking the bad guys. That's how I, uh, yeah. Oh gosh. Let me guess who could it be? Maybe Powder? I don't know, maybe not. Definitely, 100%. <gasps> oh god. Oh god. Girl. Are you kidding? I mean, I understand she's conflicted, but jeez. I'm like so many visuals at the same time. Girl, do you even know what you're shooting at at this point? Is Vi dead? Did she leave? I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> An infinity stone? Oh, that's adorable. A gauntlet? <laughs> oh my god. I know- I bet there's no connection whatsoever, but it's kind of funny. Give it a decade of careful research, and it will be ready. A decade? Okay. We have a chain of command for a reason. I understand, but there's more going- I bet the guy's corrupt. I don't know. I think he's corrupt. Did I turn to a club? Damn. The firelights were a target and must. Oh. Attend. So Silco Silco turned like took over. Your sister's gone. So it wasn't by Oh okay. Oh, oh he's dying. Probably. <laughs> Could he get consumed with the fame and power? Maybe. It happens. Something that is he going off script? When the time is right. Oh. Hardships. Whether you're the son. Hmm. Okay. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Oh my god, Powder, what are you doing? <sighs> okay. I propose that a new chair be brought forth and that House Talus be only that of a scientist like Heimerdinger. Are they gonna kick him out? Actually, I do. Who assaulted him? Is it Vi? Yeah. Alright, so obviously I knew that Vi wasn't dead because duh, we all knew that she wasn't dead, but I don't know. This is this is certainly oh this is certainly interesting. I'm playing with hair tie. 
This is certainly interesting because honestly, they, I don't know if they said in the episode how many years it's passed. Obviously, like Powder, aka Jinx now, she's like into her like maybe late teens probably, mid to late teens. So I'm guessing it's been like a couple years. I would like to know how Vi ended up in prison. What did she do? Did she not take a break from all of this after what happened? It's interesting that they like chose to, obviously it's important to show a character's like mental health and the issues that they're facing and with the jinx showing like how she's living with the trauma and like the ptsd and you know getting to like see that she also has like um i don't know if it will be called visions i don't have like the word to describe it right now because it's just not coming to me but of like um just of the previous characters that died it's just like kind of like you know it's it's i don't know how to explain it ah, okay it's really important to her story it's really important to her character and i guess it obviously influenced the way that she behaves now and how loyal she is to silko because obviously he was the one who rescued her and well, not rescued like took her under his wing and stuff and i guess that you know by having all that trauma, I guess it increased her loyalty and her, you know, her urge to be taken seriously and to be um, respected basically because obviously when she was younger she was not really respected by some of her peers and she wasn't treated equally because of her age which I understand when it comes to age because she was way younger um, but now she's she has this urge to prove herself to other people which I think it's kind of like a little flaw because we see that with a lot of characters, like in other TV shows and movies, where char you know these characters want to prove themselves to other people when actually they don't really need to do that because they're special in their own way. So it's very interesting to see that. Also, one of you in the previous Arcane reaction video told me to watch out for the background and to like things that make um, callbacks to previous episodes. And one thing that I noticed in the background that they showed a couple of times um, in like jinx's uh like i guess i don't know if it's her i don't have i don't want to call it her room but it's like her her living quarters i guess like she had like a milo like doll it looked like milo so that's interesting <laughs> so i was i'm trying to look further into the background of stuff and pick and trying to pick up stuff i'm not really good at analy analyzing things in the moment it takes me a while for me to like okay go back and analyze things but um, I'm gonna try to do that more um, so thank you um, for the person who suggested that so I think that's the end of my reaction and commentary to episode 4 of Arcane um, so make sure to hit the like button if you like the video and to subscribe to get more of my videos currently I am posting twice a week because I am reacting also to Marvel Studios is Miss Marvel, which comes out every Wednesday, and my reaction videos will come out between Wednesday and Thursday, depending on how long it takes me to edit and to shoot, as well as reacting to Arcane, which will be coming out between Saturday and Sunday, also depending on how long it takes me to shoot and to edit these videos, um, but it's around those dates, so if you don't want to be just checking every single day, if you are interested in watching my videos, Make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified every single time I post a video. And also make sure to follow me on social media. My social media will be in the screen as well in the description below. Yesterday I posted a short- oh shit, yesterday as of the making of this video, I posted a TikTok on my YouTube channel, like a short. Um, just a little treat for you guys to show the kind of stuff that I'm trying to post on my <laughs> TikTok. I post randomly, I don't post regularly, but... It's fun and I do post occasionally, so if you want to follow me on TikTok, make sure to do that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!